What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pillars and the M. Uh, this is the first vlog I ever did. I'm gonna show you a live of a great day to say what I do in my daily basis. Please. So you know this is called press, so I had to cut the video. People are coming back, we're coming here, but I'm gonna blur it out hopefully. So you know if you're in my department or if you are in my field like tech or in corporate what you must do every day in the morning is get coffee coffee is essential so right now i'm gonna go get coffee then i'm gonna pull up with you guys and tell you a story time before i start working i'm already late i'm gonna tell you a story time of how i lost my id and how i got it back so yeah let's pull up and go make some coffee so i told you i needed to get some coffee got the video for you and fast forward because yeah, yeah, that machine was giving me problems. Only do one cup of this. Gotta heat up the coffee, man. Get to the studio. Log in before they start calling you on teams. Then, bada boom, bada boom. I forgot my stand, and the person that was helping me has just went to a desk. She's going to work now. Um, today is Monday, so there's not a lot of people in the office. People normally come here on Tuesdays and uh, on. Um, these days so today it's just a few teams just the, the great team and um, other people that just maybe love coming to the office I don't know why so I told you guys I was going to tell you how I lost my uber uh, not my uber I lost my uh, wallet in a uber so what happened was I went to I went to what is this I went to Ah shit, I'm losing this thing. I went to apply for housing, for a house, not a house, an apartment. So I took an Uber to there. I, I stay in Pretoria. No, I stay in Jobek. I used to stay in Jobek CBD. So I went to Pretoria. Uh, so yeah, to apply for some housing or a place where I needed to stay because they were not answering me on emails and the agent was quiet. But at that time, I already put in my notice. So I wanted to follow up. So this was me going to Pretoria just to see uh, what's happening. I go to Pretoria, I take a taxi to Pretoria. I get there, then I request. When I get there, then as I'm in the taxi, not in the taxi, as when I get there, then what needed to happen? I went there, put in the application. They told me they needed my three months uh, my three months bank statement and uh, my ID and uh, the application form on paper, like hard copy. Then I had that application form. So I went out to go print it out. When I got to the store, when I needed to take out money, when I travel, I take out money and I put some money in my pocket, then some money I leave in the wallet. So I, I go there. When I have to pay, I'm looking for my wallet, I can't find it. I look for my wallet, I can't find it. Okay, fine. Then I go back to, um, I go back to, I pay off because I had some money on me. I pay uh, the lady because it was like 10 rand, I think, because it's 1 rand 50 uh, printing out or something of that nature. Then I, I pay the lady. I go back to uh, where I, the office is for those people. It was close by where, so I walked to where I was printing out. I went there, I came back so as i was coming back then i got there i asked them i did are they cameras where i was sitting because there was a person where i was sitting so i didn't know i was suspecting forgive me pens or whoever you were uh so i suspected something maybe he took my pen i did not know how so what happened was then i said okay cool uh can they please look for look at the cameras to see if something is there for me then they checked it out they saw no, nothing was there the person didn't take anything i said okay fine um i'll see what i do then i tried to call uber then when i tried to call the uber people i didn't get anything uh oh they first asked me a couple of questions to, tell, to ask who how did i lose my thing who took my thing all of those things and uh this is what else happened uh they gave me a number for the person i called them they don't pick up i called them they don't pick up in my wallet there was some money uh, that was like uh, maybe 250 or something of that nature around and uh, around uh, that amount so <clears throat> i get them and that's what's up it doesn't pick up my phone it doesn't pick up my calls then uh, i end up saying okay cool i lost this this thing then fortunately i had my phone with me so i just uh, transfer what well, i just uh, did money what is that thing on oh, no. that they do in, in net bank where you send money to your your number then you take it out i did that 
um, then yeah i go back i put my application i was approved that went well then i had to go back to job back they took me to a rank fortunately the money i had was enough they took me I, it was enough to take, get me to the rank i got to the rank i took out some money because uh, the pitora rank if you know it uh, there is uh, what is this there is um I forgot the name of the rank, but the rank that has Texas to Jobek, it has a mall, like something like a mall. So took that, then I went to went back to Jobek. Uh, I lost my cards. Every card I had was in that wallet, and um, my what is this? Also my my ID was in that wallet, of which I really really needed, because you know there are some scammers out there, so they marry you to somebody or they'll fake your identity a lot of things happen so i needed my id i had to write imagine i had to write um, an international certificate so i had to postpone the certificate thank god for that but i had to postpone the, the certificate because you have to bring your id there some they have to bring two forms of validations i think it's an id or driver's license and or, or two things though that say you are that person that you say you are so i had to postpone that then what else happened then um what else happened i went back to the office i registered um, my card on my phone i blocked the, the physical one then i made this one that you can tap with with your phone so i'm using that card currently then fast forward uh each time i was scared when my salary had to come in because it was it's like, like last month, I think, and uh, yeah, I needed to get paid, and it was like, damn, what if these people take my money? Because they got my card, they got everything, but although I have blocked it, but you can never know. Scammers are very good these days. So, I got the money, it was good, No, nothing happened, nothing hectic happened. Then, fast forward, like 30 days later, the guy calls me and say, hey, I say, hey, I said, uh, am I talking to pillar sand you know when someone just says am i talking to pillar sand like who are you before you ask me who am i who are you something like that so but i was cool i was chilled i said yeah this is him he said no i got your card here i got uh, your wallet i said oh you got my wallet he said yeah i got your wallet i said okay where are you he said i'm in pittola so where are you i said i'm in midrand i said okay i stay in midrand he said okay then um <clears throat> then i said okay there's some money in that wallet there should be money please put my thing at pep or take it down he says no there wasn't money when i found this thing because i found it in the garage some guy gave it to me i said cool uh, it doesn't matter if the money is there or no but i know it was there it doesn't matter though i didn't tell him that i knew it was there i just told him it's cool there's no problem then what happened was he he then now uh, what is this they then i then told him okay cool i'll send you money for you to put my thing at pep then he uh, i dropped said cool thank you then i'll send the money today i haven't sent the money yet i'll send the money today i'll text him now actually when i'm done recording then i'll send him the money then hopefully he'll put it in like he'll give me my thing he said he received a call from uber like four days later i said four days later if you received it four days later, why are you calling me a month later? He says, oh no, uh, your phone, uh, I was trying to call your phone, it, it didn't go through. I said, okay, that's like, uh, okay, if you say that, it's cool, but now you got me. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't ever received your missed calls or anything, but I didn't want to engage in any altercation. I just said, okay, cool. And that was it, guys. So, yeah, that's how I lost and hopefully would hopefully would find my wallet uh yeah i need to now i need to do some slides for presentation i have uh, later on to some stakeholders so yeah people are getting in the office now you can tell when someone sees you recording and uh we are at work they just like what is this one doing and why are, are they doing it at work sometimes people can be straight fortunately for me my manager is not coming today so big up to me yeah and that's what's up guys that's like <clears throat> my my hectic life oh you know when you are doing certain thing and you're doing it with somebody and they're like be overachieving because they're doing too much now i see that i went into this system and they are doing too much the person the person that i do this work with because i need to get something done here before i do the slides uh and this person is like doing too much when i start working i was like 
this person will be done you know with us data scientists what i found out i thought uh, there will be a lot of coding involved in data science there's not of course we have to do it to some degree but most of it is like meetings presentations and uh what is this uh yeah presentations because some data analysts clean the data and they give it to us we go to stakeholders we do the models eventually but eventually and we do some reports and uh yeah tell people what what's what we act like we know like i act like i know <laughs> i act like i know but i don't but okay if they say i do they say i do i have no choice but to say yeah i know right i know people believe me when i speak i don't know why like i, I must say with confidence like yeah 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 uh, we know what, what was up we know what's up <sighs> unfortunately every job has a repetitive task sometimes you have just have to do the repetitive task and it's tedious and annoying but hey man a job is a job <laughs> hey man yeah okay now some people in the grades are here now and so you can hear that people speak different languages here yeah? imagine me i'm from kz10 only speak zulu i come here in Jopek. it's like influx of of uh language has been spoken here now you speak to someone they respond to you in their native language i'm like damn and i'm only used to uh, zulu and stuff it's just like uh, why don't you know my language it's funny like in case of saying there's only zulu guys so imagine how would i know another language it's not that i'm ignorant it's just that i have never had a need to learn it how many languages do you guys have hey man maybe we have more than one maybe not but yeah uh let me get to working guys because share i need to work and um yeah before my manager can see let me start working and uh, yeah maybe i'll do a vlog for for lunch show you what's up peace